What's going on, guys? It is Kev Dog Twenty here, and today I'm doing a game review or a gaming chair review. And uh, I have two gaming chairs here. Um, one I believe is way better than the other one, but um, it's going to be um, a pros and cons sort of review because some is on user preference, um, some is, and, and other uh, reviews I'm going to be saying and making are going to be strictly why one is 100% better than the other one. But uh, the first chair, which is my favorite out of the two, is the X Rocker 51396, I believe. And um, <clears throat> it is a Pro Series gaming chair. And the other one, I believe, is, uh, I think it's an X Rocker. Uh, yeah, it's, it's an X Rocker uh, X Pro 3. Uh, sorry, X Pro 300 um, gaming chair. Now, this one can be purchased on Amazon uh, currently. Uh, I believe it's for about $180, and it comes with uh, <clears throat> a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, they both come with basically almost the same stuff. This one here comes with, um, you know, the wires that you need to plug in to make the audio go into the chair, out of the chair. Um, <clears throat> and it also comes with this... Uh, wireless um, uh, sort of receiver it basically you plug it in or you don't plug it into the chair you just plug um, whatever device you're going to use whether it's a, a phone or a device or even a gaming console um, they come with an adapter for gaming consoles uh, however uh, your gaming console um, has to pretty much have uh, the uh, the red the yellow and uh, the white um, video cable jacks in order for it to work. There is a way around that, uh, which I will cover later. Um, but for now, I'd like to just basically talk about the differences between the two chairs, mainly how this one's better first off. Um, this is made of leather, um, it is extremely comfortable, and the way it is shaped um, is really good for your back. Um, I'm almost 6'2", and sitting in it is extremely comfortable. My head, this this way, this just pops out for the head is really nice. Um, <clears throat> it's sort of a user preference, really. For me, I kind of like uh, chairs that have that padding here. Um, this is really firm. Um, it's not like a terrible thing. It's just something I got to get used to. Um, some people might even like it better this way. And then uh, on the side here is where your user controls are. This is the volume. I have it up all the way right now. Uh, you just turn it this way for up, down, and um, then you have the yellow and the red audio in or out. Right now it's going into the chair. This would be if you want to put it out to another device or maybe another chair or something. Um, right here would be um, <clears throat> for your uh, audio in for like uh, my phone, for example, or another device like that maybe. And uh, it'll stream right to the chair, or like I said, you can do it to um, that wireless box and then uh, right next to it is for a uh, headset if you just want to listen to whatever you're streaming um, the audio would go into the chair and uh, just through the headset and then this chair has a uh, vibration control which you could turn all the way up or all the way down turn it off completely and a bass control now the vibrations uh, strictly are kind of right in the lower they're not like I mean, you do feel vibrations from the bass and stuff, but there's like a, some sort of vibrational pad underneath here, and it's right in your sort of lower back, so it almost feels like a massage, and it goes to whatever you're listening to or whatever's going on, so it's good for gaming and uh, whatever music you're listening to as well. Um, power buttons here, and um, yeah, the bass, which is on the back, is here. So this is the bass, and uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, too much about bases um, or subwoofers you could say technically um, a good sub has an airflow because it's pulling in air and when it releases it at just the right time with this hole um, you get a much greater boom or kick uh, if you will to your base so that's what that is um, as well as the two speakers on the side one here and the other one here now this, um, like, uh, it's going to depend really whether or not I'm going to need to make a uh, or add on a second part to this video because 
this first chair um, I had gotten from Amazon actually came half broken. Um, and it, even though it's half broken, and what I mean by that is my um, right speaker, I believe, this one works and the other one doesn't. There's no sound that comes out of it and maybe even the bass is lessened, but I'm not too sure. So that's why I'm saying if the bass is not lessened or anything, I probably won't need to make another video. Um, but if I do, I will put it in this one. Um, but yeah, it just came this way and, and the speaker's broken. Amazon's just going to send me out another one. It's already been shipped. Um, <clears throat> and of course the chair does fold down. Um, you can link it up in the back to keep it up and there's like a Velcro down here. But you can push it down at any time. It just goes like right down like that. Real easy um, to keep it up when you, you put it all the way up. There's like this little pin goes right through and uh, there's like a lock right there to keep it in place and um there is just for you guys to know because it was one of my first concerns about the chair when i first got it i sat at it after i built it and i was like oh wait a minute it doesn't sort of rock back well actually it does um underneath there's uh it's gonna be hard to show but it's not like some chairs where you pull something out and then it goes backwards this has like a turning thing almost like a screw sort of device you grab one and you loosen it up and then it'll rock back and forth when you sit in it, uh, if you need it to, if you just want to lean back a little bit, um, or whatever, that's how you do it. So, all around this chair, I mean, is online and one of the top online um, rated gaming chairs anywhere. And especially for the price, some of these chairs are going for hundreds of dollars, if not thousands. And this one for just under $200 right now is at top of the line and the best chair of 2015 just started 2016 now so obviously there's not going to be 2016 gaming chairs out just yet but for 2015 or just for all around in this current time frame um, this is the top of the line gaming chair not just from opinion but from user ratings now with that said the reason I got a second chair I thought it would be pretty comparable and um, pretty comfortable to the chair I'm currently sitting in because this one doesn't have Bluetooth. Um, I am sure I'm, go I, I'm going to look everywhere to try and find some sort of adapter. There's got to be an adapter to make this Bluetooth. Um, I mean, even without the Bluetooth though, you have the wireless thing, so that's cool and still works technically, but it would be nice to have a Bluetooth adapter, so I'm going to do my best to find a way to get a Bluetooth adapter and make it work for this chair. Now with this chair here, the um, <clears throat> X-Rocker um, Pro 300, I didn't even complete it. It's not that it's missing an arm or anything. This does have padding, the arms do have the padding, but it's not leather. Um, this chair is obviously slightly bigger and longer. Um, when I sit in this, it's not just because of my height, but the way it's shaped, it is not as comfortable. Um, some people might think it's slightly comfortable depending on your um, height maybe, but it's the texture of the padding I don't like for a chair at all if you're somebody who likes leather you're not gonna like this um, definitely and um, you know it wouldn't matter even if I put the other arm on because like I said I don't want to waste time I'm gonna take it apart and return it to I actually got this from Walmart it was a very horrible hassle getting it from Walmart but um, I didn't find it really anywhere to buy online just at Walmart there might be places online or maybe even at Target or something if you want to look at getting this chair this does have Bluetooth, um, like I had said. So on the side here, it's pretty much the same exact controls. However, this just has bass. It does not have the vibration control. And I tested out the gaming sound for both the chairs. They both come out extremely well and extremely loud. This one seems like it comes out slightly louder, but then again, that is missing a speaker currently. So it probably isn't. Um, gonna make much difference at all that that's probably gonna come out tremendously loud and even louder than this chair Once I get one that has both working speakers. I did just test out both bases with a really good bassy song and um, It almost feels like this chair has slightly more bass But that also could just be because it's built kind of so shitty um, When I was actually putting it together the wood on the inside is all messed up and there were pieces of wood actually coming out and, and you can get splitters from. I never had that problem with the other chair. Um, I had to get some uh, pliers and pull pieces of wood out because it was just sticking out like that. It was terrible. Um, but with that said, like I said, the base, same thing on the back. Uh, it looks like it might be a little bit lower, but then again, the chair's not as long. And um, the vibrations 
they actually are kind of pre-installed to go with the bass automatically and I think in my personal opinion it's overwhelming I think just because it's not a sturdy build I think it's built truly cheaper um, it is a slightly cheaper chair um, I guess it's eighty dollars less than the other one um, but <clears throat> Yeah, the insides are definitely built cheaper. You can tell just by sitting in it. You can hear it almost crack. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, but for somebody who doesn't have that much to put out, that extra $80 or whatever, and who doesn't mind not having leather, you can sit in this and maybe be comfortable. I'm, I'm, it's going to be a user preference, really. Um, now, the Bluetooth is right here. You just turn it on, link it up to your phone or whatever you're going to link it to. And it plays through pretty well. I'm not going to say there's any problems with that. And there is also a USB here um, for, uh, I guess, an adapter you're going to have to buy separately. That's another thing about this chair that makes it cheaper. They, they go cheap on you and they don't include that wireless transceiver that you're going to need. You're going to have to buy that separately. Um, so that's another thing if you're going to want to hook this up to um, gaming and not have the wires everywhere, you're going to have to buy that separately. And either way, you're going to spend probably close to the same amount as you're going to spend for that chair. And that comes with the, the wireless uh, transceiver or adapter and you can just you know stick that on a wall behind the TV or something and not have the wires running all throughout your house especially you got kids or animals that are going to be um, running around and, and you know trip over it or break it you know that'd be terrible so um, definitely like I said overall this is not as good as the other chair but you know this is my review and, and that's my point of view um, some of which, like I said, is definitely opinion, um, like the way it feels and the texture, how it's not leather and all that. But the other part points that I just hit on are just facts. It's not built as nice. The wood was sticking out. Um, <clears throat> the, there is two speakers on the side. They're just not visible, and they're up here. They're not. It's like sort of curved too. Uh, not like that chair, and then they're not visible. Uh, the sound quality overall does come out pretty well. I'm not going to complain about that, but, you know, like I said, the problems with the chair, you don't have that vibration control, you don't, um, the, the, it's built really shitty, and, um, yeah, there's just quite a few things about it I really didn't like at all, but, um, you know, it might work for some people. Um, so I, I truly feel that I'm going to be able to find a Bluetooth adapter for the other chair, and, uh, you know, that would pretty much eliminate everything. Now, back to the point that some of you are wonder, wondering about, you know, whether or not these gaming chairs are any, because most of them, especially by X-Rocker, are built the same way. If you can run and make it work with, like, a newer system like Xbox One or um, PlayStation 4 or even uh, 360, uh, some, some of them, like the, the Slim, I don't know about. Uh, I think all the PS3s have the... Uh, red white and blue jacks but I'm not sure about that I can't really remember because I don't have one currently but I know the slim only has HDMI so obviously these don't have HDMI connectors so for that what you would have to do is buy a little conversion box which I can show you guys that's gonna be a separate purchase probably off Amazon um, or if you're in dire need of it quickly maybe the Radio Shack I don't think they're gonna have it at too many other stores I do have those over here. I use them for other things. Um, Alright, so this would be one right here. HDMI converter, HDMI to AV jacks. Now, you'll put your uh, PlayStation or 4 or Xbox One right into this and it'll come into the box and then you get these cords. I uh, should include these, um, at least one set of them and then you have to power it on, plug it into an outlet, so it has power, and then coming out, this would go to your TV, the yellow, and then these two, um, the, uh, the white and the red would go to your gaming chair, or what you can do is, like what I'm currently doing, is actually some TVs, uh, this is going to be tricky, I guess I'm going to have to climb over it. All right. Some TVs have an audio out, and if you have that audio out, it's going to be tough to kind of see back here. Um, let's see, I guess there's no way I can turn on a... Can I see your phone? 
One second, guys. All right, just got a flashlight. Okay, so, so right down there, you can see it says out, and it's the audio out. Now, I have those two, the white and the red, going right out from the TV to the gaming chair. Now, some TVs have that, some TVs don't. If you have that, that'll make your life so much easier because you can run the cords I just showed, whether you need a, bo a box converter or not, you can run everything right to your TV normally, and then from there, <coughs> you just plug the separate wires that come with the gaming chair into the back of the TV, and whatever sound goes into the TV with whatever you're currently displaying or watching, that will go right out to your gaming chair, and then you're all set. So, uh, I really hope this video helped you guys out. Um, I did my best making it, and like I said, if I need to uh, put a throw uh, an extra add-on, you'll see it right after I'm done talking here, for my extra gaming chair. Um, like I said, this speaker with this one, it just came busted. The box was actually busted up, and uh, I guess that's why this, this speaker doesn't work properly. Um, and if I feel like it's needed to add anything else, I will add it when I get the other gaming chair that's 100% functional. But I probably won't just because I know the gaming sound is just going to be louder and even better than it already is. I mean, it's incredible that I can pretty much even just enjoy it without a whole speaker working. Um, and as far as the bass, like I had said, I don't think the bass is broken or slightly dysfunctional, but I'm not sure. I know it works. It just doesn't seem to come out as loud as the other one. But that also could just be because this is built really sturdy. And the reason that might be coming out louder is because that's built like a piece of crap. And it's very loose and not sturdy. Just literally it's not sturdy. And with it not being all sturdy, you know, the vibrations can just go throughout the whole entire... I mean, I was feeling vibrations down here, which is ridiculous. But with this chair, you can have a vibration control, and even with it off, if you're listening to it really loud, you can still feel the bass, um, and uh, it's not overwhelming to the point where you're feeling like you're going to be motion sick. <laughs> this one, definitely, I was feeling motion sickness. Just, just making sure, you know, and doing the test for you guys. But thank you so much for watching, um, and like I said, um, I might even leave links. I guess I can't leave a link for this chair. Like I said, you got to purchase the X Rocker. Um, uh, X Pro 300. This chair is with the Bluetooth technology. I did not see that online anywhere or on Amazon, unfortunately. I, I had to buy that at um, Walmart or uh, I guess Target has it as well. This chair is on Amazon and I will most likely drop a link below in the description for you guys to purchase and check out the specs on. And this is the top rating gaming chair, so I highly recommend this chair over this one if you're going to buy one or the other. Um, and the only main difference is this one sucks, this one doesn't, and this has Bluetooth, and this doesn't. But I'm sure you can get a Bluetooth adapter, like I said. I'm going to do my best to figure that out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope this uh, review really helped you guys out. If it did, please uh, leave a like on the video, comment, uh, and let me know, you know how everything worked out for you guys. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. And subscribe if you haven't already for more reviews, um, gaming videos, and um, I also talk about uh, you know my uh, cancer situation uh, to help other people and my health to help other people, um, give them information to stay strong, and uh, you know help them out in any way possible because uh, knowledge is power and can save a life. So also check those videos out if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Goodbye.